connectivity is how well one part of the brain is communicating with another part of the brain. And so this is another measure that we do and we demonstrate. Here's, here is, you can see this, uh, this demonstration. This is high EEG coherence from someone uh, who's been practicing transcendental meditation. So you see the front, the middle, and the back of the brain. And what you see is those peaks line up a great deal. They, 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 where, where you see a peak on one line, if you look above it or below it, you'll often see a peak that lines up with it. That's high coherence. That's when the brain is doing a lot of the same thing at different places. What, one of the things that was discovered about alpha activity in meditators was meditators did produce more alpha activity than other people, but it wasn't dramatic. It wasn't a dramatic difference. The thing that was dramatically different was the synchrony of the alpha activity. And so one of the things we do now is we train four channels of alpha activity to be synchronous. For, for, for we reward it for, for being in phase, being coherent, uh, the, the terms here. And this is what it looks like when that occurs. So we measure coherence, uh, we measure connectivity by coherence, which is those phase relationships. We measure it by comodulation, which, which is the amplitude, the, the, the power. We measure it by symmetry, how much alike it is in one place and another, and we measure it in phase. All of those things are measuring, though, in different ways. They're measuring shared activity between different parts of the brain. You should not be wide awake in this part of your brain and sound asleep in this part of your brain. The brain typically arouses together and relaxes together. And if it doesn't do that, there's, that's another sign of dysregulation. So that previous map, although that wasn't a connectivity map, that was a magnitude map. Here, the fella under the atypical sign, you can see that there are different levels of arousal in different parts of his brain. That means he's not getting full use of his faculties because some of the faculties are offline and some of the faculties are overactivated. So he's not getting full, full use of his faculties.